Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to talk about Mojo, a new programming language for all AI developers. We'll also see that how we can set up Mojo quickly in the Windows system. Okay. So if you see currently on screen, it says Mojo by Modular and it's a program, it's a new programming language, you know, basically for your AI, your AI workflow. Okay. So it, it basically combines, you know, the simplicity of Python with the speed and memory safety of Rust. It achieves a significant speed up of around 35k times, 35,000 times compared to Python. And if you go a little deeper, it's 22 times faster for PyPy and 5,000 times faster for Scalar C++. Okay, so it, this looks good. It has, you know, it has been released in last few months and earlier they were on the waiting list, join the wait list, but now it's av available to set it up locally. You can go ahead and start writing code and you can also, you know, build applications, the AI applications with it now. Okay, so in this video, we are going to set up Mojo in the Windows system and we'll later on, we'll see that how we can use large language models you know, through Mojo. So I, I'm not going to create a Mojo tutorial in this video. This is only for setup. And in the upcoming video, we'll, we'll basically utilize LLMs in Mojo. So let's get started. Now, the first thing that you have to do, you have to click on download now, and that will redirect you to this page. You can see they have some instructions, which say set up on Windows and the native support is coming so once the native support is coming it will be much better as well you know it will be easier you know to basically configure and install mojo in your system so now what i'm gonna do is let me just click on you know uh in the ubuntu so we need wsl you can see it over here wsl extension so we need wsl to do that so what i'm gonna do so let's open Power sale. Oh, let's open terminal rather. So I'm going to open terminal here and inside this terminal, I'm going to open Ubuntu. And you can see this is what I have opened here Ubuntu. And it has loaded. Now let's do one thing. Let's clear it. And I don't know if code dot works. So let's see. I, I, Hope it opens a VS Code. It's downloading for this, but I do have a VS Code, so it's installing and updating. So in meanwhile, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open VS Code. So let's open that because we need a couple of extensions, you know, that we can install into VS Code. Let me just go to extensions, and here in, within extensions, what we have to do is we need WSL extension and we'll see if we have installed already. And let me just do an allow access here for that one. It will take a little time. I'll minimize this. Now I'm just looking at WSL extension. It says reload required. You probably have to install WSL extension. If you don't have yet in your system in your vs code by the way and the other thing that we have to do is we need the mojo extension as well so let's search for mojo extension mojo language support click on install and that's it Let's minimize that. Yes, I trust the author to extensions. And the same you can do it here as well. So if you click on Mojo, and you can see you can do install in WSL Ubuntu. If you want to do it in install in Ubuntu VS Code, it's a different server altogether. You can also do that. And let me also have WSL extension will be here. And you can see it's already enabled globally. Now let me just 
minimize this 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 and if you go back here it says install ubuntu 22.04 for wsl and open it we already have installed i have installed so i don't have to do that so what i'm going to do now is and copy this the the curl command install the modular cli we're going to install that and now let's uh, open here paste So it's it will update you know attempt install and all of those things it will take a little time let it be after that we have to install the Mo mojo sdk the software development kit by doing modular install mojo and after that we have to set up some environmental variables you know from there and then we can open vs code start writing code and all so that's what we're gonna do okay in that one Okay, now you can see uh, to install Mojo, it says type modular install Mojo. So let's do that. So modular install Mojo. And after that, we have to basically set the environment variables. We can do it right from here using uh, the ex eco export bash rc command. So we'll, we'll do that. will take little time so and now let's come here so they have good documentations and well if you click on right click and go to documentation on the modular docs you will be able to see mojo a new programming language get started with mojo and a lot of other things that you can find it over here the mojo library all of the classes the functions etc etc and the C cli commands as well and everything which is there it's a very it's a very new language the community is not that uh, big right now, but they have a community where they do discuss and all and if you click on AI engine, it says can help simplify your workflow and reduce your inference latency so you can scale your AI products So we'll also go into those things uh, later on Now let's come over here So it's taking a little time what i can also do is pause the video here and you know resume once it gets completed so let's do that so now you can see that we have successfully installed the sdk and you can see it says mozo install okay now run the following commands if you are using bash i will anyway use this so i'll just do control c i don't know if it gets pasted over here i'm just going to paste it so let's paste and then we can also use uh, this just to set the environmental variables if you are using bash and I'm just going to paste over here and then just source bash src okay so if you are using jsh okay, just, just for the beautifying your terminal or something like that then basically you have to use this command which has shown over here for jsh now once you do this you can open either vs code or you can just enter into the repl repl which is read eval print loop Okay, so if you see here REPL at Mojo Rep, which is read eval print loop, and there are how you can go inside REPL is that you have to type Mojo. And once you do Mojo, you can see it takes you over here. Okay, once you do the Mojo thingy. Now, just to write some basic command the way we do, you know, in Python. So what I want to do here is print hello world or something like that. Okay, hello world or something. And you have to do double line break so when you you are inside this uh, i'm currently inside this ubuntu terminal right so once you do uh, like python 3 if you are using python it takes you to that python where you can write code right and you do imports pandas as pd or you just do print hello world and then you just do enter once you do enter it gets printed but here you have to do double line break you know so you have to break the line twice and then you get printed so you can see that i have got hello world over here now, how we can do this code execution in source code, that is also very important. So, let me just do a control Z, 
okay, to come out of this. And what I will do, I will make, I will close my VS codes here. So let me just close all of the VS code thingy. And again, I will go inside code dot from here to open a new VS code. Okay, so let's let's wait for it. It will take a few seconds, and then we will open a new VS code. Now, once you see a new VS code thingy over here. So you understood that how you can execute the command from here. You have to just uh, you know do write mojo and it takes you to the REPL read eval print loop. And inside that you can keep on writing your code and keep on executing by double line break. Okay, that's what you have to do basically. No, and what I'm gonna do here is now inside this, you know, we can create a file called let's create a file and that, let's call it mojo. And oh, we can also do one thing, right? We can execute probably so let's call it hello uh, hello dot mojo or something okay you can also give that uh, emoji you know the fire emoji that's what they also do basically okay, so i'm just going to give it hello dot mojo and once i do hello dot mojo you can see that i have got a new icon basically it's a fire uh, emoji right that that's what it is okay now here how do we define a function so you can define a function in two ways and that video will be the next video where i will start a mojo tutorial for beginners now you can either do with the fn command or you can also do with the def command okay the def keyword and fn keyword and i will tell you in the next video that what are the differences between the fn command for functions or the def command or the def keyword for you know defining a function so we have used define in a python but in this case what we're going to do is we're going to write fn and we start with a main function here so let's do a main function and inside this what i'm going to do is i'm going to write print hello world or something so now let's do that i am not sure that why i am not getting maybe if some intellisense or something needs to be installed i'm not sure about it but let's see now what I'm going to do is and I'm going to save this so once I save it you can see I have a function main print hello world here okay so you can see here function so execute code with mozo command you can also do that so what I'm going to do here let's do an ls first and see you can see CUDA repo we have this is this and we have a file called hello.mojo now what I'm going to do inside this is I'm going to say okay mojo again the same the way that we, we so for in RAPL we just we just have written uh, mojo we type mojo and hit enter but in this case let's see it and you can see how fast it is so when I did mojo hello.mojo because you can find the file over here in the terminal it says hello world and we got successfully executed now you can also build the executable binary and that is why it's so important right earlier you know we used to work with languages where we used to create a statically linked binary using our build commands and all and then we used to run the executable file we can also do that in this case so what we're going to have to what we have to do in that we have to build that uh, uh, the binary that we have right so what i'm going to do is for the command is mozo build hello dot mozo let's see what we get once i do it now you can see inside this we have a new file over here that's called hello you can see that file now what i'm going to do in that case let's do an ls and see if we get something you can see we have a new file called hello here so in that case to run this this is an executable file now imagine in upcoming videos we are going to use llama cpp or something you know sorry excuse me not llama cpp the llama cpp variant in mojo we are going to do that as well you can build a executable file of that and you can run inside this terminal as well or wherever you want to run within any system to do that what we have to do we have to do dot slash and hello and you can see i got printed hello world fantastic right and this this looks really nice guys this is what i wanted to do you know help you set up mozo in your system in your windows machine through wsl and some extensions okay so we have mojo extensions and wsl extensions that we install into vs code if you don't have vs code then you first have to install vs code and you can use any other id doesn't, doesn't make but make sure that you have that extension ready and that you just you are go you are good to go with so this is what i wanted to do in this video i wanted to help you set up mozo in your system in the next video we are going to create a so i'm going to create a playlist where i will keep on creating videos on mojo for beginners because this is a new for me as well everybody is learning mojo and trying to do something so that video will also uh, will be available in the new playlist of mojo 
and we are also going to leverage LLMs, large language model, you know, in Mojo. And I'm very excited about it. So let's wait for it, you know, in the next couple of videos. I hope you learned something in this video. Now you will be able to set it up. If you have any errors or if you are not able to do it, please create a GitHub issue. I will give you the instructions and all in the GitHub. I will create a repository. So please create an issue and you can also reach out to me through the comments. So that's all you know for this video guys. Please like the video and subscribe the channel if you haven't done yet. And please share this video and channel to your friends and peer. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.